modifications. All right, if you're ready, we are too. Let's do this. Let's go. muscles get your heart rate up but I want you to go at a nice relaxed pace make sure to breathe on this one, we're gonna keep both elbows bent at a 90 degree angle we're bringing up opposite side arm and leg one nice light foot contact with the ground on every single repetition you don't want to be banging on the ground if you have got neighbors underneath you I don't want them to hear you the course of today's workout we're not going to count any repetitions we're just going to be moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with it's up to you to push yourself and to make this workout your own let's do this one for five four three two one all right next we're going to do either a crossover toe touch or knee touch you decide which is right for you opposite side hand comes to either your opposite knee or your foot so slight bend in those knees, drive those hips back, keep your back straight, then rotate and touch either your knee or your toe. And this one, I want you to decide which variation is right for you. As you see, Claudia today will be giving those slightly easier modifications. Thank you, Claudia. You are welcome. Feel that stretch in your posterior chain. Backside hamstrings, glutes, lower back. Good. We think it nice and warm for this workout. Loosening up. All right, I feel a little better already. I had a tough workout last night, so this is good to get me <laughs> nice and warmed up. All right, let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one. All right, next we're gonna move into the arm crossover plus butt kick. So on this one, we're gonna cross those arms over, alternating which arm is on top. And at the same time, we're gonna step side to side. Bring that heel back and try to kick your own butt. This so one's gonna warm up your chest, your shoulders, quads, hammies. Very efficient move. And a lot of body parts warmed up at the same time. And again, this is just the warm up. So I know sometimes we have a tendency, I think, to go a little fast yeah. in the warm up. Make sure that you're just going at a nice, relaxed pace that you feel comfortable with. Precisely. Don't try to keep up with us. So if it's going to wear you out faster, go at your own pace. There'll be plenty of time for wearing you out in the workout here. Yes. <laughs> coming plenty up time in a minute. To push yourself. <laughs> it's coming soon. Don't. Don't right. worry about that. Don't worry about it. All right, let's do this one for five, four, three. Two, one, and zero. Whew. All right, both Claudia and I are gonna do a chest squeeze. This is the first one in the actual workout. But I'm gonna run in place where Claudia is gonna do a march. You decide which variation is right for you. But we want both those elbows bent at a 90 degree angle. We're squeezing that chest as you bring those elbows together. And then either nice and light on the balls of your feet running in place or a march bringing those knees up. And then you decide which is right for you. Okay, so this one's gonna work to get that heart rate up. 
Sit fast and in a hurry here. That's good. Woo. Yeah, nice light ground touches. And again for the march, we're not stomping on the ground, right? Nice and light. And if you're doing the march and you can't quite get your knees up as high as body is, that's Definitely. all right. If it's down here, then it's down there for now. All right, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Shake those arms loose. Next, we're going to do either a lateral juke or a side to side step. So, the same basic footwork, replacing that middle foot, but I'm doing it a little more dynamically, weights back in my hips, and I'm hopping. But Claudia is more of just a step, she's not really getting any air, if you will. You decide which variation is right for you. You really have to think about the movement because you're stepping, you're just replacing one foot with the other. So it might take you a little bit to get into the rhythm of the movement, but once you do, you can pick up the pace a little bit more. And the good thing about moves like this that challenge our brain and our coordination is that's just going to improve our agility. So getting added benefits on top of something like this compared to just uh, being on like an elliptical or you're just repeating the same movement. You don't even have to have your brain on really. It's true. Excellent. So it's going to work your central nervous system at the same time. Come on, keep it up, guys. Doing good. Let's go 10 more seconds on this one. Almost there. Grind it out with us for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, let's go ahead and grab those hand weights for the first time. You know, cup soup cans, light dumbbells, water bottles, whatever you got. We're gonna go right into a seesaw arm pullover. So we're waiting in our hips, we're bent over at a 45 degree angle. And just from the shoulders, we're gonna alternate bringing those arms up and swinging them back. Palms are facing us. Breathe, keep that back straight. And if you decide that even having a pair of water bottles in your hand is too much for you, drop them and just do the movement. And that applies to all the movements today. Again, really just encourage you to make this work out your own. No two bodies are alike or are the same. Or start at the same starting place. Exactly. Remember, every winner was once a beginner. It's okay, allow yourself to be a beginner. Just gonna get better every day, that's what it's all about. Not about being perfect, just about putting in the work, getting that improvement day after day. Exactly, consistency is key. It's huge. Good, okay, keep it up guys. Keep that back nice and straight, weight in your hips. This one even give you a little bit of a leg burn. That it is on purpose, so you're sitting back. Get that back straight, I want you hunched over like this. Back, stay straight. It also works to improve your mobility. Work in your core, work in your lats, triceps. Come on, keep it up for just five more seconds on this one. And three, two, one, zero. Good, okay, let's go ahead and hold on to those weights still. Bring your hands up to your chin. We're gonna do a punch and a kick with the opposite side and then opposite. And I'm gonna do a squat. So it's punch and kick, punch and kick. You decide if you wanna throw the squat in between the two. Weight goes back in your hips as you're doing the squat. And on that punch and kick, bringing your knee up, and then kicking out. And if you can't quite bring your legs up as high as we can, that's okay. Again, that's why we're here, getting better. Every time, get a little higher, improve that flexibility. Nice work, guys. Come on. Stay in it, stick with it. It's about that time of the workout. So you start asking yourself why you're here and you gotta stay focused on it. What brought you here? What motivates you? What pushes you? What's your goal? What are you working on? Focus on it throughout the course of today's workout. It's gonna be what gets you through it. Come on, keep it up guys. You're doing great. Just stay in it. Here we go. Let's hit this one for just 10 more seconds. Almost there. Good. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, we can set those hand weights to the side. I'm gonna use my bench for the next one. Claudia is gonna use the wall. Find a wall nearest to you, that's clear. We're gonna do a combo move. We're gonna go push up, 
And then we're gonna do four modified mountain climbers. Bring your knee into your chest four times. You decide if this movement's more appropriate for you on the wall or more appropriate on a bench, chair. And if you're doing the, if you're doing the wall push-up, the further back your legs are or your feet are, the harder the movement is. So if it's too hard, you can move your feet up a little, a little more, and the movement becomes a little easier for you. And that same philosophy applies to the bench or the chair. You know, if you do these on a countertop, they're going to be easier versus something lower. So you can just find something that's at the right level for your fitness level. Core stays tight on these. You're bending those elbows to a 90 degree angle and then back up, driving through your chest and your triceps. This one again is hitting a lot of different muscle groups from our, our hips, our quads, our, our core, abs, lower back, triceps, chest, shoulders. You know, the point of, one of the goals of today's workout is to get as much done in the shortest period of time. And you're doing it right now, rep by rep. You're sticking with it. Come on, guys. Fighting through, fighting through. You're a fighter, you're not a quitter. Let's do this. Right here with you, rep by rep. All right, let's hit this one for just 10 more seconds. So close. Come on. Grind it out, guys. Grind it out for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Nice. All right, we're going to need your hand weights for the next one. We're going to do a snatch. I'm going to do a squat and snatch. Claudia's just going to do it from the hand. Feet are shoulder width apart, a little bend in our knees. Then we're going to both break at the hips. I'm going to go all the way down. Claudia's just going to break at the hips. And then elbows come up, dumbbells flip over. You decide which variation is right for you. We're going to bring those elbows up until we can't bring them up anymore and then flip the dumbbells overhead. So for mine, I'm just doing a hinge at the hips, pushing my hips back towards the wall, my weight's right underneath my knees, and popping right back up using my hips to get those water bottles over my head. But we're both really using our lower body, even though it doesn't maybe at the first glance look like Claudia is using her lower body as much, she's really using those hips to drive those water bottles up over her head. Another note on this one is when you're pulling those dumbbells up to pretend like you're zipping up a jacket. It's a good mental uh, visualization for how that movement should go. So make sure to breathe. And again, this one's hitting a lot of different muscle groups from your lower body to your traps, upper back, core. And I'll just give you guys a visual of what this looks like from the side. Making sure to breathe and keep moving. You got it, guys. Let's hit this one for just 10 more seconds. That's it. You're doing great. Stick with it. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we're both going to do side raises. Feet are shoulders apart. Palms are facing us. Bringing those dumbbells and our arms all to the parallel to the ground and back down. But I'm going to throw in an alternating side leg raise as well. This one's going to burn out your shoulders. And if you need to set the weights down and just use your arms, you'd be surprised at how effective that can be as well. But our goal is for you to just keep moving, not hit that pause button. Don't take a break. Again, I'm keeping a slight bend in my knees, so I'm not keeping my knees locked out. Slight bend and just bring those weights parallel to the ground. I'm keeping that same bend as well. It's helping me keep balance as I bring that leg out. Excellent. Keeping your core nice and tight. A good, another good visualization that I like to use is draw that belly button towards your spine through the entire workout. Yeah, and it just allows you to keep that core tight and engaged throughout. Come on, guys, burn it out with us. Let's do this one. Just 10 more seconds. Almost there. You got it. You got it. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, we're gonna move into a posterior swing. Take those shoulders out a little bit. Nice wide stance, toes are pointed out. A little bend in our knees. I'm gonna put those two hand weights together or water bottles. Just drive them through your legs and then bring your hips forward. Hips back, hips forward. Claudia's gonna bring arms in parallel, but I'm gonna bring those arms all the way up overhead. But on this move, I really want you to focus on using 
posterior chain, hamstring, glutes, lower back. The way you do that is you keep that slight bend in your knee, drive those hips back behind you like you're trying to touch them to the wall behind you, and then drive them forward. Again, this is not a squat. So, so we don't want you here, no. right? Not here, but watch my knees. Weight back in the hips. The knees stay just slightly bent throughout. You're squeezing those glutes up at the top of the movement. So kind of like that snatch from hang movement. Just using the hips as a hinge again and pushing it back like Coach said. And that helps us to focus on working the hamstrings, the glutes, lower back, and doesn't allow our quads to take over. Excellent work, everybody. Come on. Keep fighting through. You got this one. Rep by rep, you're focusing on what drives you, what brought you here today to begin with. Whatever that may be, you just want to be more fit, you want to lose some weight. You got a team you're trying to compete on, or maybe you're just trying to save your own life. Whatever it is, it's worth it, and so are you. Let's go, come on. Breathe. Let's hit this one for five more seconds, that's it. Four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, we're gonna move into butt kick jacks next. No hand weights needed for this next one. So we're going back in that butt kick that we kind of started with, but we're gonna do a side to side, jumping jack, arm circle at the same time. It's a good little uh, modifier. It's like the traditional jumping jack. There's a little wind pass variation. So side to side, we're kicking that butt. And this one is just about getting your heart rate up. So there's not necessarily an uh, easier modification for this. You're gonna go faster if you're feeling good, or slower if you need a little bit of a moment. But we want you to keep moving, that's it, come on. And keep that heart rate up. And get a little better with every rep. Every second that goes by, you're getting a little closer to your goal. Not gonna happen overnight, but it will happen if you keep it up. Come on. Let's go, you got it, guys. Grind this one out, boom. One to the next. Let's hit this one for 10 more seconds, that's it. Almost there, let's go for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we're moving on to a modified burpee. Claudia's gonna use the bench, I'm just gonna use my own body weight. I'm gonna squat down, place both hands on the ground, one, two, step back, one, two, step forward, stand up, hands overhead. So for my movement, I'm doing the exact same thing, except I'm doing it from a bench. So we'll squat down and put our hands on the bench, one foot back, the other foot back, right back, and clap up top. And so just like we kind of mentioned earlier, the higher the piece of equipment that you're using will make it easier, the lower you place it, the harder it will be. So it's not easy, it's harder because you have to go down deeper, right? So you decide which variation is right for you. You can also do this from a countertop if you need to. Make sure to breathe along the way. That's really the key. Every time, try your best to keep that core straight as you step out. You don't want your butt up in the air. You don't want it sinking down. The core stays nice and tight and engaged throughout. This one's really working a lot of different muscle groups your legs, your core, it's right through your upper body, hitting a lot of different things. Come on, you got it, guys. Keep breathing, keep pushing, keep fighting. Keep focusing on what brought you here today to begin with. It's going to be the same thing that gets you through it. Don't lose sight of it. Come on. What you got? What you got? Put it all out there, guys. Come on. Give it everything you got. How many can you get? How many can you get? Ten more seconds. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What are you waiting for? Put it all out there. You got it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. One and more for extra credit, I guess. Ah, there we go. Well, already down there. Nice work, everybody. Yes, step. I see you there. We're going to start with a Nordic skier. I'm going to grab my light hand weights for this one. Claudia is just going to do the body weight variation. We're going to start in a staggered stance. Same arm is going to be up of the leg that is back. Opposite arm is going to be back. Both arms are straight. Let's go ahead and switch those arms and at the same time, bring that knee up as we crunch in with our abs. 
Now, throughout the course of today's workout, we're not going to count any repetitions. It's just going to be about getting in as many reps as we can in the allotted time period. Making sure to breathe throughout the course of today's workout. We're going to stay nice and light on the balls of your feet on this one. You don't want to be stomping back with that opposite side leg. Really focus on contracting those abs and that core as you bring that knee into your midsection. We're going to go half and half on both sides. Excellent work. Keep it up. Getting right into it today. We're going hard and fast, working those abs and core without ever getting onto the floor. All right, we're switching sides here in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, opposite side. Now remember that same arm is up that the leg is back. That's a little bit confusing on this one. Bringing that knee up and contract those abs. Keeping that core tight, back stay straight. Excellent work, you got it. One rep right into the next. Yeah, and it's all about just getting in as many reps as we can, working at a pace that you feel comfortable with, whatever that is, whether it's faster than us, slower than us, we just encourage you to make this workout your own today. Excellent, keep this one up for just 10 more seconds. You got it, you got it. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. I'm gonna set my hand weights down for this next one. We're gonna have our arms out at our side. We're gonna go either a low kick or a high kick plus a twist. So that leg stays straight. We're gonna twist into the side of that leg that's kicking up. And if you're doing the high kick, you can go ahead and try to touch that toe to your hand. Doing a low kick, that's totally all right. Just get the leg to a level that you feel comfortable with. Again, breathing, keep that core engaged throughout. Try your best to get a nice full twist. Nice, uh, let's see, we have a 90 degree twist. <laughs> Had to do some math there for a second. But if you can't quite get the full twist, that's all right. Just keep coming back, make this workout your own, and you'll get a little bit better every single time. Nice, keep it up. And let's do it for five. Four, three, two, one, zero. All right, I'm gonna grab my hand weights for the next one. We're gonna do a bow extension. So feet are shoulder width apart. Go ahead and reach up to your left side. Bring your right knee up and crunch in and down to that knee. Every time I want you to reach up high to your left side, return that leg to the ground and then crunch up. Now if on this one you can't quite get that knee all the way up, Again, totally okay. Make this workout your own. Come back and you'll get a little bit better every time you repeat it. This workout is mainly focused on working your core, but we're also going to get multiple body parts involved in this one. As I'm sure you can already tell, get your heart rate up along the way and we're going to burn some calories. A lot of work in in a short period of time. Keep it up. Switching sides in three, two, one, zero, opposite side now. So reaching up to your right, bring that left knee up and crunch down and into it. Excellent work. The time of the workout, it's important for you to start focusing on what brought you here today to begin with, what motivates you, what drives you, what is it? Stay focused on it. Whatever it is that got you here today to start this workout is gonna do that same thing to get you through to finish it. Nice, come on, keep it up guys. Come on, put it all out there. Feel this abs start to engage. Squeeze them every time. Squeeze your core. Squeeze it, nice. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. Fast pace, we're moving right into a standing twist. Feet shoulders apart. A little weight back in the hips. Elbows are bent and we're twisting side to side. Standing twist. Now, it's not just your arms that are moving, right? They're actually rotating at your core. Your arms are really just along for the ride. Good. A little weight back in your hips. You don't want to be standing up big and tall on this one. Weight back in the hips, sitting down. 
Good, that core engage on every rep. Fast pace, right here, let's go, come on. Like I said, we're going hard and fast today. Let's make it count. Come on, let's go, what you got, what you got? Breathe, guys. Don't forget to breathe, so very important. You got it. And if, throughout the course of today's workout, you need to switch up, do some of my modifications, and Claudia's, we just encourage you to make this workout your own. Make it work for you. Nice work, keep it up. Ooh, abs are working. Burn so good, guys, burn so good, keep it up. Really focus on keeping that core tight throughout. Don't just swing your arms, but actually make that core work. And you guys, let's hit this one for just five, four, three, two, one, zero. If you're using your hand weights, we only need one for the next one. Do a standing windmill. We're going to point both toes slightly to your left, one arm up, and do a windmill. First thing that's going to happen is your hip is going to go out to your side, and then you can bend over, looking straight up at that arm the whole time. Now on this one, if you can't quite reach all the way down, you can just come to your knee. That's all right. Again, make this routine your own. The key on this one is to really kick that hip out to your side on every repetition. It's a great one for your overall core, especially hits your obliques on this one. Try your best to stand straight back up in between repetitions. Nice work, come on, keep it up. Grind it out, guys, grind it out. You got it, one rep right into the next. Getting that just that much closer to your goal with every repetition. You got it, let's do this side for just five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, zero. Opposite side, now toes point the other way. One arm up, right into it. No downtime today. Just getting as many reps in as we can in that a lot of time period. Good, look it up as you go down and then try to reset back square in between reps. Oh, my obliques are on fire. Ooh, must be working. And I'm not even holding any weight. That's a good thing. That means that's working. That feeling you feel, that little bit of fire, that's the feeling of change. That's the feeling of them, those abs being challenged. That's a totally good thing. You got it, guys. Keep it up. One into the next. Making sure to breathe. Focus on that breathing. Don't forget about it. So very important. Let's hit this one for just five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, good. We can go ahead and set those hand weights down if you're using them. We're going to do a standing knee to elbow crunch. So feet shoulder apart. Bring that knee out to your side. Bring your elbow to it. Now, on this one, if you can't quite bring that knee all the way to your elbow and you're more like here, then that's okay. Again, just make it your own. But our overall goal is to bring that knee all the way up and out to the side and we get this oblique crunch, right? Crunch that side, crunch that oblique on every single repetition. Ooh, we feel it working. Ooh. Burning, burning. Getting that much closer to your goal with every rep. Focus on what brought you here today. What is it? Come on, let's go focus on that goal. What motivates you? What drives you? Come on, keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Good. Hard and fast today. Giving it everything you got. What you got? What are you made of? Right here. Let's see it. Let's see it, guys. Come on, put it all out there. Pushing yourself if nobody else can or will do it for you. Let's go. Come on. Let's hit this one for just 10 more seconds. What you got? For 10 more seconds. That's nothing. You got it. You got it. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. Oh. Moving on to a twisting good morning. Feet shoulder with our hands on our head. We're going to slight bend the knee. Drive those hips back to our upper body's parallel to the ground. And as we stand up, we're going to twist to one side, up, twist to the opposite side. So on every rep, as we're coming up, we're going to 90 degree twist to our side. And as you're bending over, I want you to drive those hips back, just a slight bend in the knees throughout. So as you're coming up, you're twisting. So it's not up and then twist, but it's up and twist. 
up and twist. Good. And if you can't quite bend as far down as we are, flexibility's not quite there yet. That's all right. Do what you can. Think of it just you know, halfway here. That's all right. Again, your flexibility and mobility will improve every time you come back and repeat this routine. Just another great. That's right. Everybody's got to start somewhere. That's right. But no one starts up at the top. That is a consistent theme. Every winner was once a beginner. Don't forget that. Come on. Keep it going, guys. You got it. Let's take this one for just 10 more seconds. You got it. Just getting that much closer. Every single rep. Grind it out. Feel that core working, engaging. Nice. Focus on it. Three, two, one, and zero. Okay, we got crossover toe touch next. Feet a little wide and shoulder width. Hands are straight up. A little bend the knee. I'm going to go cross over and touch my opposite side toe. Well, Claudia is going to cross over and touch your opposite side knee. All right. So again, that mobility and flexibility talk. If you're not quite down to your toes, it's okay. You start with your knees. And as you keep coming back and doing this workout, you'll eventually get to the point where you can touch those toes. All right. Maybe you got to go from the knees to the shins first. Maybe it's not right from the knees to the right. toes. Like that in-between phase. But that's the great thing about these workouts is you can see yourself improve step by step along the way. These results are not going to come overnight. I'm not going to lie to you. But if you keep coming back, you keep putting in the work, it will work for you. It's all about consistency. That's it. That's how you get your successes made is putting in those small efforts day in and day out. The work that you're putting in today are going to be the results that you experience tomorrow. Let's see it right here. Come on. You got it, guys. We don't have a lot left. Getting closer to the end with every rep. Getting closer to your goal with every rep. Grind it out right here. Let's go five more seconds on that one. That's it. That's it. And four, three, two, one, zero. I'm gonna grab my hand weights for the next one. Doing a oblique rotation. Shoulder part bent over on a 45 degree angle, arm hanging down straight. Now, keeping those arms straight, we're going to rotate to the right and then rotate to the left. Keep those arms straight, engage your core and your obliques on this one. And again, your range of motion might not quite be what ours is right now, and that's all totally okay. Just want to keep your arms straight and make sure that that core is doing all the work. You're not just swinging your arms up. But your core is under control, making sure to breathe throughout. You got it. You got it, guys. Stick with it. Keep fighting. Whatever you do, don't give up. If you're using weights and it's too much for you, no problem. Feel free to drop those weights. Or if you need to slow your pace down a little bit, totally okay. But what we don't want you to do is quit. Don't give up. Don't hit that pause button. You don't have that much left. No, we do not. Keep going. Keep working. Keep driving. You got it. You got this. You got it. Come on. Come on. Keep telling yourself you got it. Positive thinking here. You got it. Come on. Well, you can do anything. That's right. That Let's, includes completing this workout. Yes, ma'am. Let's hit it for 10 more seconds. Almost there. Come on. Right to the very end. You're a fighter, not a quitter. Let's see it. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh. Nice. Set those weights down. We're going to do a leaning, lifting crunch. Hands are on our head, feet are shoulder width apart. We're going to lean to our left. And as we lean back to the right, bring that opposite side leg up. Opposite now. Lean to the right. And back to the left, bring that leg up. So lean one direction. And as you come back, bring that leg up as you crunch. So it might take you a couple repetitions to kind of get the hang of this one. Definitely. It takes a little bit of extra coordination, but that's okay. And focus. Just keeps focused on it. This is it right here. Feel those obliques working. We like it. That little bit of burn you feel is just change happening. That's that lactic acid firing your muscles fuel because you're using them. Totally acceptable. Gotta fight through that burn. Gotta be stronger than that burn. Not about being perfect. It's about just putting in that effort. Day in, day out, right here. Get after it, guys. You got it. We're getting so close to the end. I can feel it. Come on. Let's hit 10 more seconds. That's it. Come on. That's nothing. 
Grind it out. How many can you get? Boom. Boom. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. That's it. You made it. Yo, done. Excellent work out there. We're going to move on to a little bit of a cool down. Just a few moves to allow your heart rate to come down slowly as well as improve your mobility. We're going to start with a downward dog. I'm going to do a downward dog from the wall, so I'll show you what that looks and like. I'm going to go from the ground. They're both very similar moves. Come down into a high plank position, and I'm going to walk up with my feet flat, and I'm going to drive my hips back. And I'm doing the exact same thing, except on the wall. So I'm basically just creating a 90 degree angle against the wall. So you're going to look something like a square. You're just going to push those hips back like Coach Kozak is doing. You're really going to feel that stretch back here in your posterior chain. Yep. Good. Just feel that stretch. Take a nice, big, deep breath. You can just be so proud of yourself right now for pushing through today's workout. Right. One less thing you have to worry about for the rest of the day, check it off the list, my friends. It's always the best thing to check off the list. It is. Work out done. Of the day. You did it. Nice. Let's hold this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Come up slowly. Oh, very slow. I want that blood to rush to your head. Okay, next we're going to do a posterior shoulder stretch. So let's start with your right arm, reach that right arm across, and with your opposite side arm, you're gonna pull it in close to you. You're gonna feel that stretch in your chest, shoulder, and in your back, just pull across. And we're just gonna hold, nothing special on this one. Just breathe. Yep. Did a lot of work on those shoulders today. No fancy moves. No, not in the cool down. This is it, your fancy moves are done, you did it. <laughs> All right, let's switch sides in three, two, one, zero, shake that one loose, opposite side now. Excellent work. E class. Yeah, this is a pretty traditional stretch, but it's a good one. Good one, yeah. yeah. You know, sometimes you just stick with what works, right? All right, holding this one for five, four, three, two, one. All right, last one, let's do a little bit of a quad stretch. Probably gonna wanna walk over to either a wall or chair. make sure you have a chair, a chair handy. One hand on to support and going with that with your hand, pull your foot back until you're trying to make your foot touch your glutes. Feel that stretch in your quad in the front of the leg. If you don't need the wall, feel free to do it without. Totally up to you. There's not much benefit to doing it without other than if you want to uh, work on improving your balance at the same time. I saw my quads are tight for my workout last night. But that's all right, I must have did my job. All right, let's switch sides in three, two, one, zero. Slowly down. Here we go, last one. Let's hit that other side. And pull it back. Ah, nice. Excellent work. Let's just hold this one. It's a total of 15 seconds. So let's hold this one for seven more seconds. And this is it. Ah, my left one's tighter than my right. <laughs> All right, let's do it for three, two, one, zero. And guess what? That's it. Boom. High okay. five, Claudia. High five to you out there. Excellent work. Thank you so much for working out with us today. If you like this workout and you've been working out with us for a while, we encourage you to please go check out our Patreon page. The so that you can support our mission. Keep these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed working out with us today, we ask that you please give this workout video a big thumbs up. And if you wouldn't mind, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that way you are notified every time Haskett drops a new workout. Make sure to check out Haskett.com for hundreds of free workouts free meal plans and our free complete fitness program. And whatever social media network you are on Facebook, Instagram, Thank you for watching. Find Hasbit, connect with us if you want to connect with you and like Bella. all the Of course, right? Just creep on me. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for working out with us today. It's been our privilege. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.